Ooh, what's going on guys it's your boy DPJ here today with another destiny video and in today's destiny video I want to talk about the information dropped in the latest weekly update which Bungie released yesterday now if you guys missed that I will link it in the video description if you guys want to check it out and read through all in this weekly update they talk about the features they are working on for the 1.1.2 patch which we may get before the house of wolves comes out even though there's no time stamp on the house of wolves so we don't know for sure when we actually get in the house of wolves and as soon as we know this information but they do talk about features they are working on in this 1.1.2 patch and there's five things they talk about in this weekly update and the main one i'm interested in is extra vault space they do state that they're giving us extra vault space they don't say exactly how much we are getting in my opinion though it's probably a little bit too late i mean i've deleted a lot of shit i've wanted to keep but i still appreciate them listening to the community and giving us what we want i mean the house of wolves is just around the, well i say just around the corner i don't know for sure when it's coming out but the house of wolves is coming out soon uh, sooner rather than later i suppose and there's going to be an array of new weapons which we can collect and level up and just keep inside our vault which i'm grateful for i mean i've deleted so much shit i've wanted to keep I love the old school uh, raid armor, the water glass armor, a lot of the water glass weapons, a lot of the old school vanguard weapons and crucible weapons I've had to delete because I just haven't had enough space. But now thankfully Bungie are giving us what we want and like I said they don't state exactly how much we are getting but in my opinion I think we need at least double what we have now. So that's 20 weapon slots I think it is and 20 armor slots at least added to our vault that would be absolutely great now all the things they talk about in this actual update which i will cover uh, and i'm quoting bungie here raid fixes there are times when Athen and crota can be uncooperative we are tackling their worst bugs audio and visual not everyone wants to see or hear a game the same way which is why we're looking at providing more options PvP ammunition, the Crucible team wants to change the way ammo crates dictate the flow of battle. Does this mean they're changing the way heavy ammo drops in PvP? Maybe dropping one in the middle of the map where everyone has to fight to get it? We're just going to have to wait and see. And strikes, this number tells us that there are some missions that are successfully completed far less than others, inspiring us to look at why people quit. I've noticed this a lot with the Omnigo strike. If I'm playing it with a couple of randoms, I do notice more times than not that people back out at the Omnigo strike, which I don't understand why. It's a pretty easy strike. I mean, you get a lot of engrams and loot drop in that room when you're fighting the Hive and the Fallen. I don't understand why people leave. I really don't. It just confuses me. But yep, guys, there are the five things they talk about. There are the five features they talk about they're working on for this 1.1.2 patch. But like I said, the main thing is the vault space and the extra vault space it's something we all want guaranteed it's a must for everybody but guys let me know your opinions on this like i said i'll link the update in the video description if you guys want to read through all and let me know your opinion on it down below in that comment section thanks for stopping by as always do drop a like i do appreciate the support and peace out until next time peace